कृष्ण ऑफ ब्लेड Coagulation of blood. Did you at the place of injury? At the place of injury, when the blood vessels are damaged and blood flows out, within 25 to 30 seconds, blood coagulates and forms a blood clot and called blood clot. Okay, see at the place of injury. For example, here one here one injury. Or here one injury happened at the place of injury. When the blood vessels are damaged and blood flows out at that moment and at that particular place, the blood is coagulates within 25 to 30 seconds. The process is called blood clot, blood clot or blood coagulation. At the place of injury, when the blood flows out, when the blood vessels are damaged and blood flows out, at that particular place, within 25 to 30 seconds, the blood is clot. This is called blood clot. This blood clot not only prevents, not only prevents uh, uh, blood bleeding, but also <laughs> entry of microorganisms. Entry of microorganisms. In the place where injury occurs, at that moment, the blood is flows out. Within 25 to 30 seconds, the particular place that is clot and forms a uh, dark reddish brown scum that is called blood clot, under which the blood stops, not only stops the blood bleeding, not only prevents blood bleeding, but also controls, checks, controls. Entry of microorganisms and kills food. Kill means pure food. So, the process of coagulation of blood, clotting of blood is a complex phenomenon. It is a number of uh, clotting factors. There are 12 different types of clotting factors. 12 different types of clotting factors are present. There are 12 different types of clotting factors are involved. So, coagulation of blood is a complex process and it involved less than 12 different types of clotting factors. With the help of 12 different types of clotting factors, so the blood is clotted at the place of injury. So, the process of clotting may involve in four stages. The process of clotting involved in four stages. The process of clotting. The process of clotting of blood in four steps. Those are first one is these are thromoplasty. These are thromoplasty. These are thromoplasty. In this Release of thromboplasty. In this, what happened? When the blood flows out, when the blood flows out to, uh, from the wound or injury, when the blood flows out at that moment, platelets, platelets become exposed to the air. When the when blood flows out, flows out from the injury or wound. The platelets, all the platelets become exposed to platelets. Platelets become exposed to air. Exposed to air means what? From the wound, exposed to air. The damaged blood vessels and the ruptured platelets, together, the damaged blood vessels and tissues, the damaged blood vessels and tissues and the ruptured platelets. Together we form an engine that is called
catalyzes splits proteins on other parts. Okay, so this thrombine is the proteolytic enzyme which acts on plasma protein fibrinogen. Thrombine acts on plasma protein. Action plus the protein, fibrinogen, and it changes it into insoluble insoluble fibrin. Insoluble fibrin. Okay, ma. So in second step, what form? Thrombin. Okay, thrombin being proteolytic agent. Thrombin being proteolytic agent. Which acts on plasma protein fibrinogen. Thrombin acts on plasma protein fibrinogen and changes it, it, it into insoluble and insoluble fibrin. Okay, so formation of fibrin. So fibrin is the last step. The last step. Formation of blood clot. Okay, so see here the insoluble fibrin. This here last step, insoluble fibrin forms an elaborate network. An elaborate network. Insoluble fibrin, fibrin forms an elaborate network. That is an elaborate network. Insoluble fibrin forms are precipitates, precipitate, precipitate, and anaerobic network. Precipitate means what? There, at the place of injury, the fibrin forms, forms uh, precipitates. Precipitation is thick parts form as a anaerobic network. In the network. Red blood cells, white blood cells get trapped and forms a red, a red solid mass, red solid mass, red solid mass, forms red solid mass, red solid mass, red solid mass. This is called blood clot. Red solid mass is called blood clot. The blood clot gradually, gradually dries, gradually dries and hardens. Harden. Looks like reddish, red brown or bluish scum. Red brownish or bluish scum. Under which red brownish or bluish scum. And at which all the blood cells are clogged. And also gets, and also the wound gets healed. The wound gets healed. This is the process of coagulation of blood. So you might have observed. So when here it is wound happened. So after the one day, here what happens? A black, reddish, brown, or bluish, or black scum, clog. Form. So, under which the blood vessels and everything is clogged. So, from this is come, from this is come, what happens? When this is come is formed, we will get a kind of a uh, itching sensation. That indication is what the wound is getting healed, cured. Okay? Once again, formation of blood clot. So in the last step, fibrin is formed. So the fibrin precipitates. Precipitate means what? Spots are formed. Spots are formed. The fibrin forms are 
precipitates an elaborate network. This network, in this network, red blood cells, white blood cells, trap, trap. Okay, and this is looks like a red solid mass. This red solid mass gradually dry, gradually, slowly dries and harden. Harden under which? Harden under which? Red blood cells. Under which? Red blood cells, white blood cells are stopped. So this looks like a reddish, brown or bluish scum. It looks like a red, brownish or bluish black scum. You might have seen black color scum. So when that uh, uh, scum is formed, that scum we call a clot, we call a clog, we call Okay, scum. They, uh, scum, they black color scum form, layer is form. Under which the wound gets clean. That means what? So under that term, uh, scum, um, all the white dresses, the dresses are stopped, clotted, uh, and at that moment we get a kind of an itching sensation. That the itching sensation is indication of uh, the wound is slowly getting pure. Okay, so these four steps are Okay, here thromboplasty. Next to thrombin. Okay, so thrombin. Prothrombin is inactive. Thrombin is active. So don't get confusion there. So prothrombin is inactive form. Is converted into thrombin. Active form of thrombin in presence of thrombokinin. And I'll see more number of clotting factors. Okay. Next uh, uh, part. Okay, thrombin. Thrombin. Active form of thrombin is proteolytic engine, which acts on plasma protein, fibrinogen, and convert it into insoluble fiber. The insoluble fiber forms other uh, precipitates as elaborate networks. Under that, red blood cells, white blood cells are blocked. So that is looks like, that is looks like, that looks like uh, red solid mass, red colored solid mass. So that red color solid mass gradually dried and gets hardened and looks like a red brownish or blackish color. Okay, that's some will you follow in two for the O. That is the explanation of one O plastic. Next topic. Leaves. The blood is the blood is passes through the capillaries in the tissues. For example, it is the tissues, the raw tissues. In these tissues, the blood passes through the capillaries. Capillaries means small blood vessels. Okay, so the tissue is occupied in all the directions. So the blood is passes through the smaller, smaller, smaller capillaries and circulates throughout the tissues. Okay, so the blood. The blood passes or circulates through the capillaries. Through capillaries. Through capillaries in the tissues. So when blood is circulating through the capillaries in the tissues, some amount of water, water soluble substances, moves out. So when the blood is circulating through the capillaries, through the capillaries, main blood vessel, main blood vessel starts. The main blood vessel is differentiated into several smaller, smaller, smaller capillaries. Smaller blood vessels are called capillaries. So at that moment, some amount of water and water soluble substances moves out, moves out into the spaces between the cells of the tissue. Water and water soluble substances moves out or circulates or transfer through the spaces present in between the cells of the tissue. So, this is the complete tissue. In this tissue, group of cells are called tissue. In between the cells, some space is present through that spaces. In this tissue, 
Okay, so you can just put smaller, smaller blank with this up. Smaller, smaller, capillary, smaller, smaller, capillary surface. Okay, the blank passes through the capillaries in the tissue. Next, some amount of water and water soluble substances transfer or moves out in the spaces. In the this is space, in the spaces. In the spaces. Between the cells of the tissue. Leaving the larger proteins, larger proteins and formed blood cells in main blood vessels. Okay, larger proteins and blood cells, formed cells. Formed cells means what? Blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. These are all, these and the larger proteins as usually present in the blood vessels. Okay, that is the second statement. Second statement is what water, some amount of water and water soluble. Water soluble substances. Water soluble substances. Moves out into the spaces between the cells of the tissues. Leaving the larger proteins. Larger proteins. Larger proteins. And found found cells. Formed cells, blood cells, formed cells, and formed blood cells. That is red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. These are all actually present in the larger blood cells. Okay, so, so these are all present in the blood vessels. So this, these are all present in the blood vessels. This fluid is called interstitial fluid. Interstitial fluid. Interstitial fluid or tissue fluid. Interstitial fluid or tissue fluid. This fluid facilitates. This interstitial fluid. This fluid facilitates. Exchange of gas. Exchange of gas. Exchange of gas. Nutrients, etc. Interstitial fluid is passed through the tissues with the help of blood vessels and the capillaries. So that fluid main function is to facilitate exchange of gases. Exchange of gases, not only gases, nutrients are there. Okay, that's all. Next, an elaborate network of blood vessels. An elaborate network of blood vessels called lymphatic system. Lymphatic system. An elaborate network of blood vessels. See, the main blood vessels, the main blood vessels, there are number of small blood vessels. Like you said, throughout our body, an elaborate network of blood vessels are called lymphatic system. So, the lymphatic system, like you said, this lymphatic system from here onwards throughout our body occupies. That is called an elaborate network of blood vessels called lymphatic system. So this lymphatic system so collects fluid. Collects fluid. This lymphatic system collects the fluid and pump back into the back to large large veins. Lymphatic system collects the fluid. So that the fluid comes back to comes back to the body parts. Comes back. Back means what part? Through the vein. Through the vein. See the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system carries colorless fluid. That is called heat. Lymphatic system carries colorless fluid. That is called heat. That is called heat. Lymph contains a special type of lymphocytes. Those are responsible for the those are responsible for the immune response of our body. So this lymph also carries hormones, hormones, nucleus, etc. The lymph it is a colorless fluid, it contains special type of lymphocytes which are responsible for transporting hormones. 
nucleus, etc. Okay, so this is the explanation about the lymph tissue fluid. Okay, thus uh, tissue fluid is transported through the capillaries. Some of the water soluble substances, uh, proteins, uh, formed blood cells are living as usual in the blood vessels. That fluid is called interstitial fluid. That interstitial fluid mainly helps in exchange of gases. Next, uh, another type of system is present in our body that is called lymphatic system. Actually, about lymphatic system, huge information is there. Okay, in our syllabus, a little, a little 0.1% given. Actually, it is a big chapter, lymphatic system. If I will say that big chapter, then we will get an idea. Okay, but that was out of syllabus, but was not there. Okay, so for conveying also, it's not possible. It is a huge topic. Okay, you will study higher. Okay, even second piece also they did not give. Okay, so lymphatic system transports colorless fluid that is called lymph. The lymph contains various types of uh, uh, lymphocytes, that is, the B lymphocytes, the T lymphocytes are like that. Those are responsible for immune responses of the body. It is the transports to various kinds of your hormones and The next topic is circulatory pathway. Circulatory pattern of organisms. Circulatory pattern of organisms are two types. One is Open type of circulation. Another one is closed type of circulation. Open type of circulation. Another one is closed type of circulation. Open type of circulation. See, in this one, the blood pumps out from the heart. In this one, the blood pumps out from the heart into the Arteries from the heart into the arteries, from the arteries into the large spaces. Large spaces. Large spaces. Those large spaces are called sinus. Okay, for example, here I have a round diagram. The blood here. The blood pumps out from heart into the here is one large artery. Large artery. From the artery, the blood is it is the head. head. These are all the parts. From the heart, the blood is pumped into the artery. From the heart, the blood, the blood is enters into the large space. Large spaces. These large spaces are called sinuses. From the sinuses, the blood is again entered into the veins. 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 Okay. From the sinuses, the blood again entered into the veins. From the veins, the blood is circulated to the heart. In such a way, cyclic process without closed. Vessels, the blood is directly pumped into the large spaces. That type of circulation is called the open type of circulation. Open type of circulation. Okay, so the blood from the heart is enters into the artery. From the artery, it is enters into the large spaces. Body cavity, sinuses are body cavity. So from the body cavity, it is enters into the vein. The vein carries again into the heart. In such a way, the blood is pumped throughout the body without proper closed vessel. There is no proper 
well developed closed leg vessels that kind of circulation is called open type of circulation this is commonly seen in arthropods arthropods In them, the circulatory system, the circulation of blood is open type of circulation. Open type of circulation. There is no well developed blood vessels in arthropods, molluscus, echinoderm. The blood is passes through the large spaces. From the large spaces, it is transferred to another large space. Those spaces are called thymosis, also called body cavity. That is commonly seen in arthropods. Cockroach. I have done cockroach body with cockroaches. Butterflies. Insects. The insects which are belongs to the phylum arthropods. Okay, in some of the molluscus and the canadermates, arteries and veins. Uh, openly supplies blood into the body. Okay. Next, flows the form of circulation. In this one, the blood flows. In this one, the blood flows directly from heart to the lungs. From the lungs to again heart. Through closed blood vessels. Through closed blood vessels. So the blood is pumped through smaller blood vessels. Those smaller blood vessels are whether small blood vessel or larger blood vessels in closed type of circulation, that are always pumped through blood vessels. So that type of flow circulation is called closed type of circulation. The blood is pumped from heart to its body parts, from various body parts to heart, heart to lungs, through blood vessels. Through blood vessels are smaller blood vessels. Those smaller blood vessels are called capillaries. That is called closed type of food. This is commonly seen in what is this? Commonly seen in what is this? Cephalophobics. 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 Okay, if you, uh, in our second, first we see animal kingdom. Kingdom topic is the animal kingdom. If we see that animal kingdom, so we can get to know that what are cephalopods, cephalopods. Okay, so these also cephalopods, cephalopods, vertebrates. These are all the animals shows close to type of circulation. Okay, yes. this is the explanation about circulatory pathway. Our next topic is. Our next topic is plan of circulatory system for the evolution of the circulatory pathways. Okay, so three minutes time is there. So the topic we will see next class. If you have anybody, any doubts, let me know that. If anybody has any doubts, let me know that.